ADP, strength to study, new week, isolation home workouts, death to legs. Come on, the plan? Let's do it. Mm. So, round one, static lunges, 10 aside, starting with your weaker leg, for me that's gonna be the left. After that, we're gonna to go to curtsy lunges, we're gonna do 20 of those, so 10 aside as well, definitely do it alternate. Have yourself into position. Round one, here we go. Make sure you get that right hand on the front leg. Let's get that leg right down. And one, two, get as close to the floor as you can without touching the floor. Four, five, six, rock it to the top. Seven, eight, nine, hold and switch. Get that leg right back and go. One, two, three, four. There we go. Five, six. Seven, eight, nine, hold. Excellent, switching into curtsies, holding those weights out of the side. If you're uncomfortable with the weight, use them anyway. Here we go. One, two, placing that leg behind. Three, four, five, watch out for that balance. Six, it doesn't help when you've got to stand on a different mat. Eight, nine, ten, halfway, ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, there we go. Four, three, two, last one. Boom. Pop them down. We're gonna do that four times. Ten for each side of the lunges, twenty for the curtsies. Let's go. And two, this part we're gonna focus on the hamstring. We're gonna use the platform. I'm gonna use this speaker because of a lack of stuff. If you've got a chair, anything up to about this height, we're going to use that to make sure it's nice and stable. Thanks to the speaker. Hip thrust into stiff leg deadlifts, all focused on the hamstring and the glutes. So, pop yourselves into position, make sure you've got your weight ready. Whatever weight it may be. Feet up onto the platform, lift that weight and place it onto your hips, just in front on the leg part, and from there, head back, lean into the shoulder blades, and go. One. Two. Get those hips up as high as you can. Really squeeze those hamstrings and glutes at the top. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. There we go. Give it a really nice squeeze. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, you know what to do on the last one. Two, and a big squeeze. Hold, excellent. Quickly get yourself up. We're gonna go straight into stiff leg deadlift. So, feet shoulder width apart. Just inside, we're gonna put about a foot apart. From there, drive the hips back, lowering the weights down, keeping the back straight. Once we're there, we're gonna fire it up into the glute. Squeeze the hamstrings like an elastic string. There we go. 20 of these, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, halfway, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, yeah. <laughs> five, really push that butt back for that extra stretch, four, three, two, pause at the bottom of the last one, and up, big squeeze, and down. Round two complete, all onto the front and hamstring. Next one, we're going onto the quads. Some people say I speak too fast. You listen to us slow, but we will try. Come on, get ready for round three. Round three, this time, focusing on the quads. And make sure we batter the whole leg before we go into the next things, just so we can make sure every fiber is moving. So we've got three parts to this. We're gonna start off with a regular front squat, holding the weight up your chest. Driving down, driving those knees out, sticking the hips back still. Emphasis on the quads. Once we've done 15 of those, heels raised, getting that butt right down, really stretching the quads out of the bottom all the way up. Once we've done those, we're going to switch into sissy squat, the original Vince Duranda style. From there, we're going to push our knees forward so the body's fully straight, sit back in, up to the top, and back, and that's a wrap. So, get yourselves ready. Let's get that weight. Let's get it up to the chest. Three. Two, one, and go. One, two, with your arms in this position, it's a good reference point for your elbows to touch your knees. There's five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five more. Four, three, two, last one. Boom. Slide pause to the bottom. Then we're going to heels up. Make sure you get them all the way down. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Turn it slightly out. Five. Drive the knee down to protect the knee. Six, seven. Here we go. Eight, nine. Try and keep your hands up so you can go fully straight down. Eleven, twelve, three, two. You know what to do with the last one. Four. And up. Excellent. Now, this is got time. So, make sure there's something there for balance if you need it. Hands up. Then drive those knees forward and then drop in. One, two, three, four, five, ten, nine. Feel that burn. Eight, seven, six. Five, four, three more, two, one last, and up, excellent, absolutely find the life out of the quad, give it a go, round four coming up next, four sets as per usual, Tuesday in the beach, come on, so, round four, genius idea I came up with this morning, we're going to do sumos and cosacks mixed in with each other, so there's two exercises put together with no rest, switching in between the two as we go. We're going to get our legs nice and wide. We're going to do 10 sumo squats into 10 close-ups, into 10 sumo squats, into 10 close-ups. Watch and learn. So, get that weight up. We get those feet nice and wide. And then we're going to keep that back straight, that chest up. Lower that down, driving the knees out. Really push the knees out. Four, five, six, seven, good. Eight, nine, ten. There we go. Slide wider, lift that weight up. And go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Holding the weight is going to help with the balance. Try and go up onto those toes on the opposite foot. Boom. Back into sumo. Hold it however you must. Feet out and go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, come on. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Excellent. Get that weight up. Wide nose split. Here we go. Last 10. And go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Seven, eight, two more, nine, and ten. Pop that down. You got it? Four times. Can we smash it out? We've got two rounds left. Let's go. Round five. So you may have thought to yourself, how come we've not done any back squats yet? And he loves back squats. It's because it saves until the end. One of the group asked me and said, please don't make us do 200 squats at the start of the session. All right then, we'll do them at the end of the session. So, Getting your feet just outside shoulder width, feet out, and keep that chest up, lock that back, drive the hips back, we're gonna do 10 sets of 20. Here's one. Good. Two. Keep that chest right up, keep those abs squeezed, elbows forward. Drive the knees out and the hips back. Try and get as low as we can. Some of us are experiencing dumps from earlier. That's okay, so if you haven't got a bruised dick, then we can hold the weight up on your shoulders and do them that way. Put our backpack on. And five, four, three, two, last one, pause at the bottom. And up. Boom. That's 20 reps. We're going to do that 10 times. That's 200 squats. And then that's round five good. 15 seconds max rest in between each set. Let's get it done. Come on, one more to go. So you're probably thinking, how can their calves and their legs do it? Save them for the end. 
We're going to start off, we've got four parts. We're going to start off with your weaker leg. For me, that's the left leg. And do 15 just on the left leg, 15 on the right. And we're going to do 15 doubles with both on the floor. Widening the feet, turning the heels out so we can bring emphasis into the outer head with the gastric And we're going to get our feet up onto the platform. Let them heels as low as we can for that stretch. And we're going to hit 25 reps. Here we go, come on. Starting with the left. Two, three, four. Really squeeze the life out of it at the top. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five, four, three, two. Hold, get it like Michael Jackson all the way up and switch. Another few things on the other leg. One, two, three. Four, trying to avoid that heel resting on the floor. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five more. In order to stimulate the calf, we really need to keep it pumping, so we want to avoid the rest. And one, and squeeze. Excellent. Here we go. Avoid the next feet. And three, two, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, and five, four, three, two, one. Especially by the four technique, you should be burning like hell. So, fear, hit those toes down to as low as you can so we can get that stretch. Staying on the front of the before, and here we go 25, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, come on, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and squeeze, squeeze the life out of them, and down. So, as we start getting into the second, third, fourth set, maybe even on the first, they're going to really start burning, really start burning, so if it gets there, Speed them up and make sure you get those reps. All the work we can get into them, the better. You did it. Mission complete. Fantastic. So, leg day done. Death to legs complete. Easy peasy work. Make sure we got all of it done. In case you didn't catch it, it's four sets into each. In fact, we did five on the sumos in the class. Step your game up. Make sure you get it in. Legs were absolutely pumped afterwards. Got a little bit of dumps in them from before, but my calves ended up twice the size they were. Everybody needs cars. If you've got bigger ones, they're not going to grow much better. Let's just get them turned. So, easy session, smash it out. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, go to the Instagram at Andy underscore dance underscore physiques, drop me a follow, like some pictures, send me a DM. If you want to get involved in the live classes, drop me a message. Let's talk. I want as many people doing this as possible. I'm going to get as many people into wicked shape. Most importantly, keep this straight. You heard Boris yesterday, we're all going to be locked down for a while. June won't be over till October. It is a nightmare, but there's no reason that we can't still make gains. ADP, Strength Society. <laughs>